All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to this tutorial and today I'll be showing you guys how to do the velocity effect I do in most of my montages. Um, here is a clip of what it looks like. All right, now that you've seen what it looks like, let's get started. So here I got my audio clip. We're gonna first make a composite shot. So I'll do that. And then next you wanna right click and then do options show waveform. So now you can just see like the waveform. So like you know like when to do, when you want like the velocity to start and end like based on the beat. So then it like looks more synced and stuff. All right, now to actually get the velocity effect, you're gonna have to go into effects and find this speed effect right here. Then you gotta drag it into effects and then you're going to notice that when you turn it up or something and try to watch it, it's very laggy on playback. So to like actually use it, you have to render it with cl clicking that button. So then you have to wait for it to render. And then when it renders, it'll be smooth for that. It'll be smooth for like that one little moment. So you're going to have to render like this whole thing every time you want to watch it, which kind of sucks with HitFilm. But I mean, I I usually just get my phone out and do random crap when it's rendering. So yeah. That's basically how the speed thing works, and you can just drag this up and down, and yeah, that's, it's just the same as every other effect, basically. Now to actually do the velocity effect, what I usually do most of the time is, I right when the, the beat starts, I set it on 20. Right when like I want the clip to end, I also set it on 20. And then right in the center of all that, I set it on 1. So before you con like render it or whatever, you want to make sure that it's set on manual bezier, so then you can go into value graph and then change it. So then it looks more like this. I don't know, it just... It makes it so like the speed goes down really fast. And oh yeah, guys, one thing I forgot to mention is when you want it to end, you want to go into transform opacity, set it to 100 right when like this speed is, and then go over one more frame and then set it to zero. So then it turns off because before it would just go like this and then it would keep on going because it was like too long. So yeah. All right, so I just rendered it and now let's see what it looks like. All right, I think it looks pretty good. So now you guys kind of get the basics of how to do this. So now I'm just going to repeat this with all the other beats and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I added the speed effect on this clip right here and also this clip. But I had to switch this one out because the beats were further apart. So now let's see what it looks like. All right, so that is basically the final product. You guys can just experiment with this however you want. Yeah, it's a very simple effect, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like. Comment down below what video I should do next.